Hey, what's up, guys? This is Nick White. So I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. If you're interested in everything, just check the description below. I do all of the lead code problems, and I've done a ton of them, so just check them out on my YouTube page. Um, this is partition list. Uh, it's a medium level problem. In a value x, partition it such that all nodes less than x come before nodes greater than or equal to x. Um, so we're going to have a value x, so say 3 here, and then we're going to have a linked list, and we want to partition the linked list so that we'd see 3, and we want all the nodes less than 3 to come before, and all the nodes greater than or equal to 3 to come afterwards, as we could see. Um, the solution here, I looked at it, and there's a great explanation for this problem, so I highly recommend it if you guys want to do this problem. You could read all this stuff. Uh, I'm going to just kind of sum it up here. It's basically just a two-pointer approach. We've seen it before in other problems. I don't remember which one specifically. I think odd even linked list is kind of one where you separate the odds and the evens and then you connect them at the end uh, when they want like the evens to come before the odds. So it's going to be the same here. We're going to take the nodes less than x and put them into a separate linked list and the nodes greater than x and put them into a separate linked list and then connect those lists at the end. So let's just start here. Um, we'll have the before partition list called beforehead. So we'll have before list node beforehead equal new list node null. And these are kind of temps that we can use later on. And then we'll have our list node before equal beforehead. Uh, and then we'll have list node uh, after head equal to new list node zero. And then we'll have list node after equal to after head. And then we're going to use head as our current node to actually traverse the linked list. So while head is not equal to null, head's going to be our kind of current node as we're traversing. Um, we're just going to do if head.val is less than x, well then our current node is less than x, then we're going to make put it in the before side because the value is less than x. All values less than x will go into the before linked list. And then all values greater than will go into the after. So before.next will equal head. Um, and bef then you have to update before. So before will get set to before.next. Else after.next equals head. And after gets updated as well. Okay, that's great. And then all we have to do is to keep traversing like every other linked list problem. Head equals head.next to traverse to the next node. Uh, and that's pretty much it. All you do is that, and then at the end, we just have to set after.x. So at the end of this, before, the before nodes will get it updated. Before, we'll get to the end, the very last node in the before list. Uh, so before, we'll be at the very last node of the before list. And remember, we still have before head at the very beginning of the before list. After, we'll be at the very end of the after list. And after head, will be at the very, very beginning of the after list. So the last node after, of after is going to be null. So we just have to set after.x to null. And then we would set before, which is at the end of the before list, before.next is going to be equal to after head.next. Because we don't want after head because it's a list node of zero, but the next node after that is the first actual node in the after list that we want. So this line right here connects the two lists at the very end. That's it. We connect the before list to the after list. And then all we have to do is return before head.next because before head is a list node of zero. The next node after that is the first list in the before node, which is uh, before nodes, which is connected to the after nodes. Everything's all together. Everything's perfectly partitioned around that x value now. And that's it. We submit. And it's a success. First try, great. No syntax errors. Uh, hopefully that made sense to you guys. Let me know in the comments below if I did a good job explaining that. And uh, I have all the other videos too. Uh, so just go check those out if you want help with these. And uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.